Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. How you guys doing today? Hey. We're the Ungodly Geeks, and we're coming to you live from my side bedroom. Yep. And by live, I mean this is pre-recorded, so I don't think you can <laughs> actually say anything. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And today we're talking about The stuff. Area 51 raid, because it's happening. It happened. It's going on right now. They're getting the aliens. Save the aliens. <laughs> Save the aliens. Get them. <laughs> Get E.T. away from the U.S. government. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Like, the whole thing there. Like, the the, the creator of the event has withdrawn. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I saw a meme earlier today. You know how you got the screaming, angry bachelorette lady or whatever yeah. she was. And uh, you got the cat on the other end. Like, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> how they combine those two memes. Yeah. I saw one earlier today um, where somebody had taken that, that first image and it was Twitter and Facebook and said, oh, but superimposed over their faces. And it was, you need to stop this. And then the second panel was instead a scene from an anime where somebody had super, or no, not anime, rather uh, Star Wars, where somebody had superimposed the Reddit logo over, I think, Anakin's face or maybe Obi-Wan's face, whoever's face it was, because I can't tell. Yeah. Um, because it's really shitty and low res. And it says, but this operation was your idea. Oh, yeah. Um, and I'm pretty sure that was, I'm pretty sure it was Obi-Wan, but who fucking knows anymore? I, I don't can't care. Remember. I remember. I know what you're talking about, though. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. Uh, is this, this was, why? Why? And apparently, like, what, 3,000 people showed up? I don't know numbers. I just know, like, more than I thought. But obviously not the uh, obviously not millions. The, the, the millions of people. I mean, the guy does have a point. If millions of people stormed Area Fifty One, can they really stop us? You know, but yeah. The, the, and when I say us, I don't mean me because I'm not going to fucking go out there. I mean collectively human beings. If and you could tell that they there was probably extra security, but it wasn't like like preparing for millions if they wanted to stop millions of people i mean they absolutely could yeah they knew they're coming ahead of time right it's like batman with prep time um beats all things because we have lots and lots of big explosive bombs however like if that three thousand people had rushed those gates and i mean i don't know there were only like four guards at the gate <laughs> at least in the pictures i've seen i'm what sure there's doing? probably a lot more guards in the base but like uh if there was a million people there and they rushed that yeah probably go yeah through no there. i mean you know there's I, there's gonna be a lot of casualties i'm sure fuck it we gotta do it for the aliens do um, it for the aliens i'm trying to think of a, um, like an example of a movie where something like that happens the only thing i can think of is that scene in the dark night uh, rises when uh, the cops charge the criminals at the end, Bane's people. Yeah. Uh, and that's not even even accurate. I mean, there was the... Uh, there was a scene in V for Vendetta where V sends all the masks out and then everybody with the mask on are charging at whatever yes. that is. Yeah, yeah. And the, um, well, the, Parliament. And, and they uh, just put their guns down. When yeah, like they the get ordered... They, up. Yeah, they get ordered to... Uh, <laughs> Stand down. Actually, I don't think they got ordered to stand down. I think they were ordered to open fire, and the the soldiers just didn't shoot the crowd because I mean it's a bunch of fucking civilians. Right. Maybe that is what happened. I don't know. I just I, I remember it's a little girl who's or a little boy who's like right up front. Yeah. Like right looking up at the soldier, and then the soldiers put their guns down, and the people just walk yeah. like they in all between just, them. Yeah, walk peacefully around them. Yeah. <laughs> Which is hilarious because the whole. That whole movie is uh, about one person violently, very, violently. very violently protesting or, or really being a vigilante. You yeah, know, yeah. Setting bombs off to domestic terrorists, essentially. And then it ends with like a peaceful protest. Yep. <laughs> so that they could watch the, bomb, the building blow up. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, man. I love, I love the, I love the internet. Just some of the craziest shit. Um, oh boy, I don't know, man. I I'm kind of bummed <laughs> because there's a news story in News Is Stupid today. <laughs> Homeless denied social housing for being too poor. <laughs> like, imagine how how terrible that must feel. You know, I I 
Homeless people are being denied access to affordable housing because social landlords are routinely excluding prospective tenants who are deemed too poor or vulnerable to pay their rent. Um, in many cases, on these who refuse a home because of the likelihood they would accrue major rent arrears after moving on to universal credit because of the probability they would be hit by bedroom tax or because the benefit cap had made them a financial risk. Now, this is happening in the UK, so yeah. for those who are confused. Um, it's just weird that they're building housing for people who have no home. houses and they, they're not allowed. Like what, what? What? What is this? Um, I, I, I mean, that makes no sense unless you're also going to have a universal income. Yeah. Because obviously they're not going to be able to pay unless you're also pushing putting them in some kind of welfare. Like there has to be. You can, it makes no sense if they're going to have to pay for the incredibly cheap housing. I, I and then the landlord's not wanting them. It sounds like it's government subsidized housing. It's yeah. just nothing. Nothing about that system makes sense, which completely fits. England and the U.S. kind of have that in common, where we just come up with half-assed ideas. Yeah. Um, well, we come up with good ideas and execute them poorly. Yeah. I think that's that. That's more because we they, no one will agree on it, so we yeah. get half of what's needed for the thing to work. Yeah, like like you get half of one idea, which mm-hmm. is kind of okay. Half of another idea, which is also kind of okay. But when the two are combined, you get one really fucking dumb idea. I don't know. Or like really, love... like like you get two different, rather two different interpretations, two different executions. That on their own might not be that bad, but when you combine them together, it's like the whole. Well, Holocaust. generally, generally, at least in the U.S., it's we have this idea of a thing we want to do. Here's the money we need for it. No, 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 no. Seriously, we have to do this thing. It helps people. No, come on, work with us here. Okay, here's half the money, and then they go and try and do the thing with half the money, and of course, it doesn't fucking work. That's generally when that happens in the U.S. Um, I love those, and uh, you're not on Facebook anymore. No. And I actually haven't seen any in a while. But um, the now this videos, uh-huh. where or the uh, is it now this wherever they they show like these people are building super f- affordable housing, blah blah blah. They have Lego bricks that you know, make offices, make your own office thing, yeah. and then they like they show this and they mention like oh this is gonna cause you know make it so homeless people can get your super cheap housing and blah blah blah, yeah. and then you never fucking hear about it ever again like the solar panel roads and like all this random shit because i guess what that costs a lot of fucking money to do doesn't matter how much they say it's not gonna cost right yeah generally it still is very expensive Um, and uh with the solar panel roads at least it ended up not being as practical as people thought it was gonna be. no because guess what we have one of the largest um road-based uh, the uh, in like infrastructures infrastructures in the world. Everything is shipped on the road in the United States. Trains are like trains. You know, do some of it. Most everything is shipped by highway on uh, with uh, trucks. trucks and... and those roads were supposed to be rated to last so long. And apparently, in actual testing, it was no the 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 cost of repl- constant replacements for those yeah. was so above and beyond prohibitive that. I mean, if they could put them on side streets and things like that, that sounds cool. Like, I mean, yeah, maybe. Go ahead. Hey, energy, whatever. Right. But then again, why not just build solar panels <laughs> and put, put them in Nevada? <laughs> or, you know, well, okay, with that, there's only so long that electricity can be transmitted before it's... <laughs> true, true. So, well, um, I mean, you've, but not just Nevada, you know. Like, batteries and cable, I don't know. But either way, like, the roadways, it just, it, it sounds cool, but it's... I think actually doing it cost wise. There's no, I mean, I I remember that one of the small Nordic countries was supposed to do it. I want to say Norway. Yeah. And, uh, they ended up doing it and discovering that, yeah, it's just not worth actually doing. Not feasible. Yeah. Um, I I could be wrong on that, but I seem to remember, and you know how fucked, uh, the human memory is. Well, you yeah. can remember shit that never have and ever course, happened. It, it's like, you know, a little blurb you saw online. It's like, right. oh, that's interesting. Um, the Onion did a parody video recently. I, th- I think it was The Onion of a Now This video. Sounds like they would. Which, it's like, did you believe, it's like, uh, you thought this? You're wrong. You fucking idiot. 
<laughs> and it's like the whole thing is you're right. It's just telling you you're wrong about everything you thought. And you've always been wrong. It's, you have never it's so been correct. <laughs> um, it's like, yeah, that's every now this video ever. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. So picture this, guys. Two Amish men drinking alcoholic beverages while operating a horse and buggy, carrying a 12-pack of Michelob Ultra, and outfit it with a giant stereo system. I, I, this is just amazing to me. Um, apparently, in uh, somewhere, <laughs> Trumbull County in Ohio, so right here in our own backyard, um, they uh, witnessed that. A, a couple of police officers witnessed that. Uh, while doing a routine patrol in the county's Amish community. Deputy Eric Hermsdorfer came across the men while on patrol the early morning of December 15th when he attempted to stop and question them about drinking and driving. They leaped out of the buggy and disappeared into the woods by the side of the road. Oh, they left the buggy. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, the horse pulling the buggy also took off when Hermsdorfer caught up to it. The men, though, were gone. <laughs> Okay, so that guy, Hermsdorfer, sounds like he was in a fucking horse and buggy, too. <laughs> I, you know what? Uh, yeah, with that name and just, I don't know, dude. I, like, this is kind of hilarious. Hermsdorfer turned the horse over to a local farmer until the two men came forward. The sheriff's department has attempted to call different people to pick up the horse, but no one has answered the phone. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Don't leave your homie hanging. I mean, how? who can he call? It's Amish. <laughs> they don't have phones. Uh, I, I, apparently they, a lot, like certain Amish communities have more than you'd think. Like they have phones and sometimes even, uh, lights. It's just kind of like, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, yeah. Tractors and things like that. They just don't go all out. Like, yeah. They, they allow some small minor conveniences, yeah. but they're still building the barn by hand. Mm -hmm. Um, but it, this is kind of funny to me. Like, I. They, they were sitting there. Getting, and with a stereo. Yeah, with a stereo. I want to know what they were. They had to be been listening to Amish Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. Weird Al just blaring on a just fucking thing blaring. at 2 o'clock in the morning while you're drinking Michelob and walking, <laughs> riding down a fucking house. Oh, my God. That's so funny. And that is why. Oh, oh that that's illegal. <laughs> that's, that's messed up. <laughs> um... Yeah, but... Uh, they were driving them. And apparently operating anything with an engine. Like, you can be accused of drunk driving for driving a fucking tractor. Yeah. Like, a, like, a, like a lawnmower. Lawnmower. On my own lawn. Drunk. Fuck you, it's my lawn. <laughs> I'll fuck my lawnmower. I'll fuck I don't my lawn know if, if it's want. a real video or what it's from, but there's this old video I, I used to have of uh, this dude, and he's... At first, he's... he's Apparently holding the camera in front of him. Maybe it's from a movie or something. I don't know. Uh -huh. Holding the camera in front of you, in front of him, and I think he's got a beer in one hand, holding the dry the, the steering wheel of a law, riding lawnmower, and in the other hand, he's got a fucking gun, <laughs> and he's driving towards a police officer who's like pulled somebody over, and he's like waving the gun. He's like, "I have the power of God," <laughs> and the video cuts off. Oh my God. <laughs> You know that, that I've never found out what that's from. That sounds like a Florida man video. It does totally. Like, like you, you set that scenario up. I'm gonna go. Is that from Florida? I bet <laughs> yeah. that's from Florida. It's, it's somewhere, man. I love it. Like, that just, sounds like that would happen in the Tampa Bay area. I don't know why. <laughs> just the Tampa Bay calls out to me when I think about that. <laughs> I have the power of God. <laughs> swinging around like a 357. All right, moving on. Um, apparently, a Melbourne man fight up, fought off a carjacker with a Nescafe Blend 43 jar. Um, for those who don't know, that's a, that's a blend of coffee. Um, a gun-wielding thug has been brought undone by a jar of instant coffee. Jason, who did not wish to use his surname, was buying coffee and cigarettes at his local service station in the Melbourne suburb of Frankston on Tuesday when a man armed with a replica pistol asked for his keys. When he refused, Jason was struck over the head and fell to the ground. His fresh jar of Nestle Blend, <laughs> Nescafe Blend 43 is smashed, allowing him to use the sergeant of the glass to fight off the attacker. Closed caption TV, or closed circuit TV, rather, caught the extraordinary incident, and Jason joined Sunrise to detail exactly what happened. Oh, my God. 
So it did break. That's not a good advertisement. No, um, it's it's not like he. I used wanted a him jar to, to bash the yeah, guy's head like... in with a fucking jar with how thick those jars are or something. Nobody picked up a piece of glass and was like, "I'm gonna fucking cut you." I'm gonna fucking cut you, mate. Oh, that's great. Yeah, in no, Melbourne. It, in Melbourne, so you know. Police wish to speak to a Caucasian man, about 183 centimeters tall, slim, and aged in mid-20s. All right, so if you're listening to this uh, guy who tried to rob Jason, go turn yourself in. Now, is that... You're a piece of shit. I'm guessing that's Australia, right? Yeah. Okay, because there's a Melbourne, Florida, too, so... (laughs) I had to be sure. Yeah, no, this is... uh, Sunrise uh, is from Aussie. Aussie. It's an Aussie. Uh, yeah, no, that, it's that from their completely seven, their, tracks. Their local Seven News channel. I don't know. Uh, Australia is is the Florida of like the rest of the world. <laughs> it's just it, the it's crazy the shit those continents. people do. They, they, it's just full of Florida men. <laughs> not as bad. Not as I. I don't think as uh, sometimes as illegal. But like, there's some crazy bastards down there. And they're fucking great. I mean, look at where they are. Yeah. You're on an island thousands of miles surrounded by sea that's just hundreds of thousands of miles in. Your closest neighbor is fucking New Zealand. And they're also crazy bastards. They're they also ate the original people that were there. So you like you got these two little countries here and they're whatever. What the fuck do you do when you're on an island like this where everything wants to kill you? Mm-hmm. Like, well, everything's poisonous and if you are one of the, uh, the, the, the either you're an indigenous person there who of course just like everywhere else was fucked over by the English right? or you're one of those first English who was left there basically to die and your great great grandparent was a fa- was a fucking criminal yeah <laughs> I mean you know that's the thing Australia started off as a prison colony mm-hmm. because they couldn't send prisoners here anymore no because we said fuck you guys, we're we're separating from you. So you know, what do you what do you do? <laughs> what do you do at that point? Uh, yeah. you, you just you fuck drink and, and do some crazy shit. You fuck, you eat, you kill everything. You, that's it. That's what you do. And that's apparently what they did back in the day. So <laughs> yay! All right, let's move on. Um, I'm I'm out of news. The stupid stories. That those were the ones that uh, those are pretty good. Tick tickled me. Uh, so there was something you said about Disney Plus, right? Yeah, so Disney Plus last, uh, a couple days ago, it, it may be more than a couple days ago, they released the full list of what's going to drop day one for the service. Um, and what's funny is the movies look like they outnumber the, uh, TV shows. Um... But, I mean, that doesn't matter when you have TV shows like The Simpsons, which is on there, that has 79 seasons. Yeah, it, it has enough seasons to last you a lifetime. <laughs> because, um, you know, fuck. But, I mean, it's the list is just crazy long. I, like, the, the movies is just about anything you could possibly think of. <clears throat> it looks like they're putting the Disney catalog on there um day one so no more if like your kid wants to fucking watch cinderella and your cinderella dvd is busted you don't have to wait for it to come out of the fucking disney vault anymore right um it's it's i think it's going to be on here oh wow i'm looking at this list of just just the tv shows it's like wow the world according to jeff goldblum i I, i'm gonna watch that just because he's his name he's he's there um, of course, we're getting a bunch of Marvel films. Yeah, all the Marvels on there. Um, Pixar movies, everything except for Toy Story 4. Mm-hmm. Star Wars movies, episodes 1 through 7. And Rogue One. Mm-hmm. And then, like, a bunch of Disney movies. Yeah, uh, just fucking... It's insane, this, the length of this list. My thing, the thing that I immediately look for, also Mighty Ducks. I didn't know. I, I guess Disney owned Mighty Ducks. I don't know. Yeah, that's, a, that's a technically a Disney movie. I don't remember. Um, the thing that I looked for, like I immediately was going down this list, um, was my one of my favorite animated Disney movies, The Sword in the Stone. Yeah. And that's on here. So yeah. I was I was already like, okay, I'm good. They got what I want. Johnny, oh my God, they have the Disney original movies. Johnny Tsunami is on here. If you're in the, uh, like, you know, born in the late 80s, um, 
in the 90s, Disney did all these really terrible but really amazing uh, original movies for the Disney Channel. Johnny Tsunami was one of them. I bet I can't remember the names of some of the others, but those movies were bad and good. Kazam. Right. Oh. Yeah. I don't even know if I can remember any of these, man. Like, it's been it's one of those there's things a, where it's been there's, there's an insane amount. The Good Dinosaur, The Little Mermaid. Um, oh, Dude, what's the... Fuck uh, Ariel, man. She was a selfish little bitch. What's the... Uh, song? See if, I'm going to see if Songs of the South are on here. <laughs> Um, hey, the original 1982 Tron. Uh, Song of the South does not look like it's on here. I don't even know what that is, but I'm sorry for those who are fans of that. So, song, I think it's Song of the I think that's the name of it. That's the really, really not so vaguely racist, um, oh, movie from, uh, like, it, it's this, this, uh, older black dude singing and, like, telling these stories of, uh, Briar Rabbit and Briar Fox, I think. Uh huh. I remember the log ride at Disney. It w- was based on the songs in the South, and they took all of that out of it. Oh wow! Because it was like it's like super uh, super racist. Yeah, um, it was a product of its time. It's like when you have the uh, it's like the WB stuff. The yeah, old, the, the the old Mary melodies and shit like that. Where yeah, they use the over uh, they use old, mammy the, and stuff the, like that. Yeah, the the caricatures of of old black women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they sit there. They they don't they don't uh, shy away from it though. No, they just have that disclaimer. Like, hey, listen, this was a product of its time. They we were racist assholes the back then. The one that they pulled. We're sorry. <laughs> so I have a phantom DM on Twitter that won't go away. Phantom DM. I think it's from uh, an account that followed me, immediately DM'd me, and then immediately got. Uh, um, delayed. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? No, suspend it like right away. Mm-hmm. So I can't even like, you know, see anything. God damn it! Oh well. Anyway, yeah, no, that sounds like really cool. The Disney Plus thing. Like some of these, like oh, I'm, maybe, I'm, 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 maybe they didn't pull away from this. I, th- I swear to God, this was one of those things Disney did that was like really. Mm-hmm considered fucked up but i, I apparently i'm wrong troop. but it's not also not on the list goof so. troop uh fucking ducktales both the 1987 original and the 2016 reboot mm-hmm. uh hey dude high school musical the musical the series <laughs> the series the musical like seriously. on broadway <laughs> for television <laughs> musical made for tv broadway television musical what no why Howie Mandel's Animals Doing Things. Oh, cool. Malcolm in the Middle. I like that show. I, I really did. Uh, so basically, they're just getting a ton of really good shit. The Clone Wars, Star Wars, The Clone Wars. That show was awesome mm-hmm. back in that day, man. On, uh, what was that, Cartoon Network, was it? Or was that Nickelodeon? Which show? Uh, fucking Star Wars, Clone Wars. Um, the animated uh, series. The animated one. Yeah. Yeah, that was on uh, Cartoon Network. That was uh, I don't. Th- I think it might have been Toonami, but I don't remember. But it was I, on Cartoon Network. Uh, that was good stuff, man. Oh yeah, that I shit was that. great. Um, that was good, and then that's when they. It, it it was good, but it was also like, it was one of those Star Wars things where they go way out there with some of the stuff. Right. Uh, but I mean, it was still it's still canon. I think some of it is, a lot of it is. That's why. Um, that's where uh, General Grievous, why he's a coughing like weak mess in the Clone Wars movie. Yeah, is because uh, or the last movie. Yeah, it was the last movie. The uh, the whatever the fuck, I Revenge of the Sith. Um, so is because um, Mace Windu from fucking. Uh, like far away does a, like a force choke on his whole goddamn body and nearly crushes him. Jesus. It was fucking cool. And then like a blaster goes off next to him or something. A ship crashes or something and then Grievous gets away. But May seriously was just like grabs him and you just see because he's all robotic with organs inside oh, and yeah. the robot chest just starts fucking getting crushed. It was ah, uh, They made... 
That's one of those things. Never where piss off Samuel L. Jackson. Never piss off Samuel L. Jackson. I thought I think it's one of the, other than some of the video games. It's one of the first places where you see them throw lightsabers and right. grab them because it never happens in the movies. Right. Star Wars is one of those things where, and I get it's where some of the complaints come in on the new movies. Like, well, why didn't we see Luke Skywalker fucking jump in and destroy all those ATSTs or anything like that? Right. In the movies, Jedi never do anything that amazing. In the games and in the shows and yeah. the cartoons and stuff. That's where they go wild. It's where they go. Like, literally, Mace Windu, because it was done by the guys who did Samurai Jack. Right. He's in an entire army of <laughs> attack droids and doesn't have his lightsaber and is fucking punching them and destroying <laughs> them with his hands and fists. And the force is literally, like, destroying, like... Uh, you know 50 of them at a time and then fleeing all the nuts and bolts through the rest of the army right. and he takes out probably like a thousand droids himself and it's just it's so over the top amazing and i mean but that's that's the kind of fucking jedi shit i want to see in the movies too god damn it yeah like why would you not do that yeah i don't but yeah that's the stuff that never ever really transfers over and that show went extreme with like <laughs> that scene or like the fucking clone troopers there's a great scene on a bridge where they're ho- they're trying to hold this bridge on coruscant or something like that and it's one fucking trooper oh my god i'm so tired and he's fucking like he's picking up a, a like a heavy blaster shooting that with one like well like braced on one knee while blasting with his pistol at the other hand fucking flinging it's just that show was awesome that's i'm glad that's on there cuz that's not very long either those episodes were only like 15 minutes um jesus christ so i i found this screen rant article mm-hmm. every tv every movie and tv show available on disney plus at launch and uh apparently there's like 862 things that are going to be available i don't i don't doubt it because like just scrolling up and down this list on my phone it takes a very long time to get through the movies alone yeah, no, like this is this is kind of insane. Hey, look, Aladdin 2, The Return of Jafar, Aladdin mm-hmm. and the King of Thieves. You know, the direct to VHS sequels they made that were awful. Uh, we were talking about the <laughs> Marvel shows that we wanted to see. Yeah. Um, and I know I just saw there's Iron Man um from 94. Yep. Iron Man Armored Adventures, which I think that's the kids show that was much later on. The Incredible Hulk, that's guy, I think that's the one from the 90s. Um, X Men 1992, X Men Evolution, Wolverine and the X Men. All three of those were great shows. Right. Uh, so I mean, it's even gotten that stuff. So there you go. I'm I'm a little bit justified. And wasn't there an Iron Man TV show when I was growing up? The yeah. answer is yes, there was. Star Wars blips, Star Forces of Destiny, Rebels, Rebels Shorts, Resistance, Clone Wars. Ah, Star Wars versus Star versus Oh, sorry, Star versus the Forces of Evil. Star versus the Spider Force Woman you. from 1979. Whoa! Spider Man and his amazing friends. I remember that randomly coming on on Fox. Like, I don't know what it wasn't like prime time or anything, but that was the one where it's Spider Man. Uh, I think Miss Marvel. I don't remember who the chick was. Um, I, I, Iceman. Um, Ice and Iceman. Newcomer. Firestar. Firestar. That's yeah. who it was. Iceman. Iceman and Firestar. But they've got a Spider-Man from 81, Spider-Man from 94, which is the... I like that one. Yes. Yes, that's the one I grew up with. So, yep. I mean, I'm fucking totally on board with that. Simpsons, Recess. Dude, song. Sunny with a Chance. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds so Sunny with a Chance of Meatballs? No. Apparently that movie's really good. Uh, I never saw it. It's a spinoff show. And it's probably stupid. You know, it's one of those later yeah. things that they did, the live action shows. So, I don't one know. thing. Dude, that Phineas I... and Ferb, though. Is that on here? Yeah, yes, that's it a is. Disney. That's a Disney oh, property. Oh, man. I, I, yeah, I know, but, um, you know. Yeah. DuckTales from 87 and the new DuckTales is on here. Yep. Which is cool. <laughs> um, Doug, which I didn't know was a Disney thing. I could, maybe they bought it from from Nickelodeon. I don't know. Um, Wait, did they buy Nickelodeon? No, not Nickelodeon. Maybe they got Doug at some point. So one thing I don't see is I don't see Family Guy. Um, 
what's the what's that other show american dad uh Uh, no american dad yeah but those shows are terrible anyway yeah well okay so i was funny but i don't see that and i bet the the what was the other show he did the oh cleveland uh, show the cleveland show yeah so did did they i wonder if they're not taking the more quote-unquote adult cartoon stuff and putting it on here maybe maybe not because okay so when it comes to doug the series premiered on the cable network nickelodeon as the channel's first original animated content along regrets and the simpy show yeah the series original run consisted of 52 episodes over four seasons that were broadcast from 91 to 94 in 96 disney acquired the series retooling it with several creative changes thus renaming it brand spanking new doug Retitled Disney's Doug in 98. Oh, yeah. That's when it was fucking awful. And airing it for three years on ABC's Saturday morning lineup. It became a top-rated show, inspiring various books, merch, a live musical stage show, and theatrical Uh feature Doug's first movie. Released the series' conclusion in 99. Yeah. You know, though, at least they had the voice of Billy West. Yeah. Billy West, so he's a cool guy. He's in everything. They kept him. Yes. Um... Yeah, Which, I, those I, who don't know, uh, Billy West also does Fry's voice on um, Futurama. And Farnsworth. And Farnsworth. Well, yeah. And like 15,000 other voices and everything you've ever seen. Yes, yes. He's very, 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 uh, very prolific voice actor. I'd forgotten. And then playing uh, Gears 5 reminded me, um, Marcus Phoenix, the main character from the Gears series. Yeah. Uh, he's Is he he's voiced, voiced by, by Bender. Oh my god, that is amazing. <laughs> Yes. There's a scene, and we had talked about when I was basically reviewing the game last uh, last Fucking week. John DiMaggio? Yeah. Yes, that is so amazing. So we, we talked about uh, one of the new characters that I liked, Foz. There's a scene where they're talking about using a fucking space weapon to wipe out a bunch of enemies. Right. And the Fo- Foz character, Foz is like, shouldn't we get... Um, military uh, authorization before we do something like this. And Marcus looks at him and goes, Hey, it's Foz, right? He's like, Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Foz. <laughs> <laughs> he just, this dude is supposed to be like the fucking total macho sunglasses where I'm at us. It's just like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Because Marcus Venus tells you to shut the fuck up, you listen. Um, you know what? John DiMaggio also did the Scotsman in Samurai Jack. God, man. That's amazing. That's, that's fucking one of awesome. Those, that's one of the best TV shows. That is. Oh, my goodness. I, I That's one of those things I'm going to have to go find a way to watch. Um, just because of how amazing it is. And I never finished it. I Samurai never Jack. finished watching it. I haven't watched the new episodes, the ones that came out on Adult Swim, that are like legit adult themed. Right. Um, and I'm still pissed that I haven't sat down to watch those. I think I'm going to go ahead and get those. Right. No, I, yeah, I, watch them. I got, I got to, I got to do the thing. Cause yeah, that show was a Samurai Jack, um, Batman, the animated series. And probably like, I, I don't know. There's, I'm, I almost can't think of another show. Maybe the Rugrats was, those were the absolute most defining shows, like top three for me. Yeah. Um, like X Men's up there and things like that, but you like Batman the animated series was so so good. Samurai Jack was so good. I mean, I think for me, uh, and then like Dragon Ball Z, like uh, we'll probably have that to can't go be understated. stuff like <laughs> The Simpsons yeah. before they started going on too long. <laughs> um, so like I, I don't know, I don't know how long that was, but I, I watched a lot of the first. 10 or 11 seasons Mm -hmm. like when they were still new seasons and when they were still airing new episodes so simpsons for me because i I remember sitting down to watch that every fucking day with my parents or every week with my parents or whatever yeah um so i gotta i gotta hand it to simpsons i gotta hand star trek the next generation which i know not a cartoon but a tv series um the original spider-man cartoon from 94 Mm -hmm. like the 90s spider-man uh the 90s justice league and probably X Men. Yeah, Justice League. Justice League was great. Superman series was great. But like, I, I, I can remember seeing the Batman the animated series for the first time, and just the intro being like, "This is like absolutely amazing," right, yeah. you know? 
Yeah. Um, it's just one of those shows that I can remember almost everything. Like you mentioned an episode and I can go and just be like, oh, yeah, I remember this happened and da 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 da. Yeah. Uh, I, bought, I bought the fucking Blu-rays collector edition for that. I had to. Yeah. Like 90 bucks or something, but I was like, eh, it's worth it. Just fucking show. Fucking worth it, man. Um, I was sitting here looking at all the things that John DiMaggio has done, just out of curiosity, because I got it pulled up. Uh, he did actor Toph and actor Iroh in Avatar The Last Airbender. You oh, the actor, yeah, play the, the, the play. Of, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Um, oh, no, hero. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's amazing. Of course, he did Bender in The Simpsons yeah. for like two episodes or whatever. Um, apparently, he was in SpongeBob SquarePants as the Blackjack. He was in Afro Samurai as Brother 2 and Ivanov. Uh, nothing else is really spe- uh, jumping out at me. Brother Blood and Spike in the Teen Titans from the early 2000s. Um... Spike. Batman, the Brave and the Bold, he did Aquaman, Gorilla Grodd, Faceless Hunter, Black Adam, Black Mask, Toy Man, Vigilante, Helga Knight, Mr. Freeze, and Captain Boomerang. That show got a lot of hate because, I mean, it come it, it came off of, like, the animated series, and then they had different versions of Batman, and then there was, like, that Batman extreme or whatever where the Joker was, like, this insane jester, like, he had literally had dreadlocks. And it was there was lots oh, of bad. That sounds it did one great thing cringy. though. It did they, they did a vampire episode that was fucking amazing. But that does sound the ba- fucking Brave and cringy. the Bold came out, and it was it's Golden Age Batman, right? And at first, like, and, and a lot of people hated it because it's not serious at all. Right, it's Golden Age humor, and like it's it's almost like '60s Batman. So it's so gimmicky. There's puns. It's but it's fucking hilarious. And it's actually really, really good. Holy shit. He was in Final Fantasy X. He did Waka and Kamari's voices. What? Yeah, John DiMaggio has been in all. There's a, there was a podcast I listened to for a little while. Yeah. Um, uh, Please, tell tunes. us more about this podcast on our podcast. Yes. We're podcasting right now. <laughs> We're podcasting than a podcast. But Talking Tunes, it's uh, hosted by um, Ron Paulson. Rob yeah. Paulson. Ugh. And then he just gets random, not random, but he gets different voice actors to come on. And right. like the, I stopped listening to it regularly, but I would go through and find episodes with like John DiMaggio and listen to that. And just because those guys are fucking great together. Gears of War, of course, he did Marcus Phoenix, which we already knew. We were yeah. talking about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, isn't there anything else that I'm seeing here that I, I would care about? Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's the voice of Jake the dog in Adventure Time, so yep. he's an Adventure Time fan. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently, in Crash Bandicoot's Insane Trilogy, he did Uka Uka and the Tiny Tiger. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Um, and, uh, yeah, a lot of cartoon I mean, shit of that stuff. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care about. All right, that's cool. Cool shit, man. So I don't know what the original point of what we were talking about was, but you hey, just, you just went off like I'm gonna read this list now. Yeah, you, you know what? That's how we do those. <laughs> so, uh, gargoyles, dude. Original That's fucking gargoyles. There. Yes, I want to watch that. Made to um, be a competitor <laughs> to Batman the animated series for uh, Disney, and it never was quite able to. It never quite, it never quite caught on. Touch that much. I, I thought it was, I, it was a, still to me, it was a hit. But I think they wanted hits as big as WB and Cartoon Network were throwing out there. Yeah. And I don't think anything Disney Channel had could I mean, hit that level. No, not really. Like, like when I watched Disney Channel growing up, it wasn't for whatever they had on, like, that was current. It was, like, older cartoons. Most I was, yeah. Like, I was looking for the Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse and Goofy cartoons from, like, the 60s when they were being, when they were still fun. and. It was funny you know, that they went from, they did that. And then it was the the original shows Gargoyles Bonkers is on that list, and I when I saw that I immediately remember that crazy ass fucking show, uh, and then the new like 
like tailspin and things like that that they had, which were all fun, but just which weren't were bad. Good. Yeah, they, it's just it was it was Disney properties. Like I hated. I I loved the intro to Tailspin. Hated the cartoon. Right. Could not fucking stand it. Change the channel immediately. Watch the intro every time because I love the song. But like, um, that's what they had going for them. They had really good intro songs. Yeah. Uh, what what was the like? I I I I watched Tailspin a lot whenever yeah. I could. Um, but I don't have memories of it, you know? I just didn't think it was any good. I like, thought... I, I, I remember Mary Melodies. I remember, like... The, Mary like, Melodies was good. Like, the early Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck goofy mm-hmm. cartoons. Like, I loved the cartoons where they would have a narrator narrating Goofy's actions. Yeah, and Goofy they, fucking every single thing up. They put those... I remember when they were airing them, they would put them in, like, the, a show, quote-unquote, because those were, were short, usually. Yeah, yeah. Like, so you're talking had, three, to three to seven minutes they, each. And I can't remember what it was called. It was, like, Classic Tunes or something like that. Right. Where it was a block where they would show those Mary Tune shows. Right. So, like, the ones... You, you Like, when Goofy... The one I can vividly remember is Goofy, like, just, like, doing... Like, showing sports off. Yes. Like, as if he was, you know, a sports trainer or something. And the as guy's, if he like, was narrating. an expert. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, he's, like, Goofy's all of a sudden an Olympic level yes. uh, fucking shot putter or something. He's like, the shot put is a, a, an athletic event based around blood. And, and then you'd see Goofy and oh, gosh. fucking drop it on his foot. <laughs> Throw it in his own face somehow. Yeah, like... somehow it bounce off a fence and come back at him. But, yeah, those were, those were fucking great. And then they kind of went to just the original stuff. And then when I stopped is when they got rid of all the cartoons and it was yeah. just it was just a live action, live action shit, shit which was which, garbage. Some of it wasn't bad. Like the sweet life of Zack and Cody was fun. Yeah, I was by then I was like <laughs> I was out of it out of interest in, in the um, shows at all. But like I, I never cared for the rest of it. <laughs> What's his um before he became Joji when he was still filthy Frank and Pink Guy, he released an album uh, the Pink Album, I think is what it was called. And there's a song where he's begging the creator of a bunch of those Disney shows, uh-huh. um, who I think that the guy might have gotten in trouble for something with kids. Because a lot of those shows oh, of were just little did, girls. Yeah, yeah of uh, course. Or like right before, you know, 16, 17. Um, but in, in Joji's or Pink Guy's song, it's all about begging that guy to bring back those shows and just naming these the girls that are 18 years old and, and talking about he wants to watch the Disney Channel and grab his dick. <laughs> oh, Jesus dick Christ. It's so fucking funny. Oh, my goodness. No. Uh, it's I mean, goddamn fucking funny. And no. then he's like, oh, the girls in this song are 18. <laughs> But seriously, for me, Phineas and Ferb is is probably their best new cartoon, like new generation cartoon. Have you ever watched? They've had some good ones, yeah. Like it's it's just I I love it. It is probably one of my favorite Disney properties now. Like they've mm-hmm. just done they've done such they've made such fun with that. Hey, Ultimate Spider Man is going to be on there. Um, is that the one where Deadpool sometimes shows up and says dumb shit? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. In one episode, Pink Season. That was the name of the album. Sorry, I had to look it up. Yeah, no, we. I understand completely. Um, I mean, you know, I've done that stuff. But uh, <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Yeah, Nickelodeon Girls. The uh, what was? Would 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 you just asked me something? Oh, Phineas and Ferb. Yes. So. I've only I've watched a little bit of Fantasy and Fur, right. and yeah, it's one of those shows that actually has, it's legitimately good mm-hmm. for a new cartoon. Um, and the the <laughs> PewDiePie subreddit, the one where he gets content <laughs> from, that he posts in his videos when he does meme review and oh my and stuff like that. So the subreddit, people would start using memes from Phineas and Ferb. And then in one of his videos, he's like, I don't get this. I don't, I don't, I don't know this show. And he's like, this is shit. So immediately, of course, all the memes that were posted were from Phineas and Ferb. It just rebellion. Like, this is what you get. Yeah, it was, it was so goddamn funny. <laughs> this is what you get. How could you not like this? How could this? you not like a thing? Your people like this thing. 
<laughs> Seriously, finishes the furb is amazing though. You just need to wash the, like wash that. It's one of those things you sit down and you watch. You come back like, why was that so good? Yeah, it's one of those shows that looks like oh, this is gonna be a dumb fucking cartoon, and then you wow, that was actually really really good. It was funny. <laughs> it it managed to be funny. It was insightful. Yeah. It's like to me, it kind of makes me think. Oh, another one that was actually really good was um, uh, Kim Possible. Surprisingly good. Yes. Yeah, no. Uh, and it reminded me a lot of Kim Possible. So much porn. Yeah. Uh, there's a story of the guy who did Jake, uh, the uh, American Dragon. Yeah. That when he wrote his show, was submitting and stuff, Disney was approving it, he had to sit down in an office and they went, here, <laughs> this is going to happen to your show, and slid him a folder of just Rule 34 of like Kim Possible and these other shows. Then they're like, this is going to happen to your show. Are you prepared to have this happen to your property? Like your creation. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and they had to legitimately like inform him, like, be prepared. If this is something you care about that much, do not have it made. There's gonna be a lot of porn <laughs> because on it. there's gonna be a lot of porn. There's furries and they like like this stuff. There's scalies too. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh that my god. Funny. That was goddamn. Funny. I hate all of you. I hate <laughs> humanity was a mistake. <laughs> humanity was a mistake. Let's we start over. Rule 34 to let's, everything and let's I try again. Everything. Let's try again. Um uh, speaking of furries, I burn think it Robin all Hood, down. Robin over. Hood is also on that list. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> the original where it was a fox the instead. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh I still god. it's one of my favorite Disney movies. It's a great movie. Yeah, I know that. Growing up, good that, music. The fucking and, the song. It's, to the, the, the lot of D or whatever. Yep. God damn. I uh, yeah no totally totally there though like I I remember that movie growing up. I liked uh, those those Disney movies that weren't the typical <laughs> princess movies a lot more than the you know the the princess movies Cinderella and all the movies that Disney's like there that they put up as their most important. Those yeah. other Sword in the Stone, fucking Robin Hood, those were better, hundred percent better. Yeah, they they were great. Um. Oh, fuck. I had something I was going to say, and I, now I forgot it. Completely forgot. Um, what were we talking about just a few moments ago? <laughs> um, oh, my God. I've smoked too much weed in my I life. Know. <laughs> too much weed. I can't weed. remember That's a conversation brain. I was just holding three minutes ago. Like, it's completely... <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, my God. So, I, I, I came across this RPG horror story. Mm -hmm. where a player made a DM rage quit. Yes. Um, and I wanted to talk about this. Uh, the guy submits this. I started my first ever D&D game with some friends at college about a year ago. It didn't start off great. It lasted two sessions. The first one, it took us two hours to kill three goblins, which, holy fuck, oh why? Oh, my God. That sounds like there was a lot of fighting over the rules. And the second one lasted 15 minutes before the DM rage quit. Party members consisted of a guy who just went ooga ooga the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> and wouldn't say anything else. Another guy who wouldn't talk at all, and a girl who actually seriously take it seriously like I was. <laughs> oh my god! In the second session, we made it to a town, and the guy kept going ooga ooga. And the one that wasn't talking suddenly tried to kill a random villager. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I've I've played with those kind of people. It's usually people that don't don't get that you know you want to actually play. And they've, all they've been explained to is that, oh, you're creating this character. So they essentially go into Skyrim quick save mode. Uh -huh. And they're just like, oh, I want to fucking kill all these villagers. Okay, but, you know, that kind of ruins the story and everything. Nope, I want to kill all the villagers. Fine. So rocks fall from the sky and you die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's where you treasure. have to either pull that person aside and be like, so you're not getting the point. This is not after you quick save. This is the story that people actually want to play part of the video game. Yes. This is when you're going up the mountain to become the Dragonborn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, is, this is the beginning when, uh, or, or like in Oblivion, this is when um, Tiber Septum is uh, speaking to you and telling you that you need to save the goddamn It's kingdom. fucking Patrick Stewart. Why it's would Patrick you not Stewart. sit there and listen to him? Not, like, oh, well, I stabbed him in the dick. No, you don't do that to Patrick Stewart, Stop it, you, Patrick Stewart, you fuckhead. Yeah. You, There's, you sit there, you let him talk, and you let him steal all his speech out, and then you go and save the world. It's the LOL random yeah, kind of... And, like, I get a, a lot of it is just people who don't get what, you know, the ta a tabletop role-playing game is. Right. They think it's just, oh, I just do random silly shit. No. And it's like, no, it's not, it's not exactly the point. You can, if that's what you want to I mean, do, yeah, if you and everybody generally, beforehand. that's what you want to agree on beforehand. Yeah, yeah. 
that's just like, oh. Uh. <clears throat> and then there's the other opposite side of it, the DM who doesn't like role playing. Oh yeah, there's also um, be that. You're in the city. There's a cheap looking hotel and an expensive looking one. All right, what's the area around us look like? Is the downtown part of the city? Is there anyone around? No. Are there any other buildings around? All closed. So there's a really fancy hotel and a Motel Six right next to each other. <laughs> yeah, hurry up and pick. Can we just can we try to talk to? No, just pick. <laughs> Yeah. A few minutes later, using downtime between missions for character interactions, GM huffing loudly every time a character starts a conversation, starts giving people death glares anytime they aren't throwing dice, interrupts the planning planning phase because it's taking too long and he doesn't want to sit here all night listening to his talk, eventually becomes genuinely angry when asked to describe things beyond the bare minimum. Yeah. See, that's the person that you just go, okay, you don't, you're not GM anymore. You're not GM anymore. Like, wanna, holy shit, if you want to throw dice anymore. and count numbers, go play a war game. Yeah. Seriously, what are you doing at this point? Yeah, right, so we talked about D and D. Frustrating. I talked about D and D. I, I had to. I I've had been. I've been. Uh, I got um, Journey into Avernus, Baldur's Gate, Journey, yeah. Night, whatever the fuck the, whatever the that is, module yeah. is that just came out for <laughs> fifth edition, which I'm not a huge fan of fifth, but I'm going to run it anyway because this book is cool and mm-hmm. it never ran like a, an official thing before. Right. So I'm going to try it and reading it. I just like I I I was very entertain in the story and immediately i'm like oh this is what a fully fleshed out real life story is like <laughs> yeah no it, it's, it's i mean it's, i've it's, always played with people and myself you know had story in mind just this is what's like when a professional writer has a story in mind it can it can be pretty extreme yeah yeah you don't have to come up with so much on the fly it's very interesting um i just i really like that i like the setup I like I like that I like it. we'll see how it goes. Uh, it might go off the rails, and there's some stuff that I mean it's us. We're going to do oh, something dumb. Like you're going to have a point where someone's like I there's punched even, the initiative, and I know you're going to be playing it. So this is kind of a little spoilery, but it's only at the very beginning when you're level one anyway. Right. Um. But there's there's even like stuff in the book where you're supposed to this person wants hires you for a job and he's not a nice person. Um. And there's a lot of people. Yeah. But uh, but Bulger's Gate is full of them. It's a, sc- a city of scum and villainy. The Star Wars references I'm going to be dropping for it are many and that one only. Um, <laughs> but he's hiring you, and it even says, like, if the party fucks him over, he sends these people to go and kill the party. And they are, like, more powerful than level one. And then if that doesn't work, he shows up with this many people to kill the party. And it says either the party dies or the and the game restarts or they they do what he said. Like it's like contingencies for like your party decides to be douchebags. Contingencies for contingencies. Along with the story. That's awesome. I was reading and laughing like, oh shit. Alright guys. I, I I don't know if you could told this, but we kinda pulled this episode out of our ass and I'm kinda done at this point. So, tired, yeah. Yeah, I'm tired and both exhausted. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We talked about Disney Plus. We ranted about things. We talked about some news of stupid and then D&D. We talked again. about cartoons for a while. Yep. So, for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. See you.